Okay, welcome to Daily 3D Revolve. Today I'm going to be doing a Design Spark mechanical tutorial and I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a Batman logo that you can use as a cookie cutter. So we'll go ahead and uh, open up Design Spark. Uh, we'll create new, uh, new design. We're going to do this in inches and then we'll click this uh, plan view. We're going to minimize and then we're going to drag in our, our Batman logo. Put there in the center. Okay, I'm going to draw half of this and we'll mirror the other half over since they're concentric. So we'll go ahead and click there and we'll drag a line. Click there. We'll go select to click off of it. We'll right mouse click on line, set as mirror. We're going to control plus to zoom in and we're going to start our drawing. We'll go ahead and grab the line tool for most of this. Let's turn off our uh, snap to grid over here and then we're going to click we'll drag out and get the ears let's go down to about there we'll click click the select to click off we're going to grab our three-point arch and we'll go about halfway Click there, and then we'll click on that endpoint there. Okay. It's going to be this top part. We'll control minus to zoom out. Grab our three point arch. We're going to go from there to probably that little point right there. And then we'll bow out. Actually, that might have been too far, so let's undo that. Let's go three-point arch, we'll go about halfway. Okay, now we'll click there, and we'll go to the midpoint. We'll click there and go to the end of the bat wing. <clears throat> okay, right there. All right, now we're going to go ahead and I'm going to use the spline tool, which is this one up here, to finish the rest of this off. So we'll click and we'll just start uh, curving as we go. Click, curve as we go. Let's double click there. Let's select. We're going to end that right there. We'll grab the spline tool again and we'll start there. Double click to end it. And we're going to grab our trim away tool. Get rid of these little points right there. Now we'll get rid of this. Don't need that. Now I'm going to put a rectangle on there. This is going to be the cookie cutter part. And then we'll, we'll create a base that you can hold on to. So we're going to grab our ellipse tool. And we're going to click go all the way out to here. Let's just type in 4, enter, and then we're going to drag up. Click there. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and get rid of our Batman graphic. We don't need it anymore. Fix a couple of spots. Looks like we're going to get our uh, create rounded corners. We'll go from here to here, 0.527, do the same right here, 0.527, okay, that looks pretty good. Now we're going to go ahead and spin this. We're going to pull this part down, being our base, and we're going to go Let's click on this. Just type in 0.1. Alright. Now we're going to extrude this up. This will be our... Actually, let's undo this. We got one major step. So we have to put a, 
a thickness on this to use as our, our cutter. So let's go ahead and select all of the BAP logo. We're going to go to offset and then we're going to come in. Do we have room to come in? Or Okay, we're going to come in 0.05. 0.05 okay now we'll go select now let's spin this pull we'll pull this down 0.1 okay now we're going to grab this piece here we're going to select pull and then we're going to drag this up this is going to be our cutter so we want to go at least to 0.5 okay now we're going to click off of that now we're going to spin this okay we want to go select pull we want to can't really see that let's spin this a little more I don't know if that's all right let's go ahead and select that pull and use this up to we'll go up to that face there oh, I didn't want to do that actually okay well, let's undo that I guess it doesn't have to be a solid let's let's pull this just up a little bit like 0.09 give it some kind of thickness and then we're gonna now we should be fine okay so now what we're gonna do is go ahead and select all the lines on the outside of this model we're gonna come over here and we're gonna chamfer this so we need a we need an area that's kind of like a blade Okay, so we'll go 0.04, and then we'll select the click off, and we only have to do the one side. So this is going to basically give us our, our chamfer to cut into this cookie. All right, that's not looking too bad. So what we'll do is we'll spin around to the top here, we'll pan down, go ahead and keep spinning, alright, we'll click on the bottom, go to plan view, we're going to put a little knob right here so you can hold on to it easier, so we'll grab the circle tool, we're going to create a, a 1.5 circle, and we're going to spin this, we're going to pull this circle up. Let's go 0 0.5. Oh, 0 0.5 is too much. Let's go from the bottom. 0 0.5. That'll be that'll that'll work. Okay, now we're going to go select pull. We're going to click on this outer, and we're going to uh, change from fillet to chamfer. We're going to put a chamfer in there. 0.07 then we're going to go ahead and put a fillet right here so it's not a weak spot go ahead and pull out to 0.05 okay so this is going to be our, our handle to hold on to this is going to be the cutting blade to cut and then the only other thing I'm going to do is put a small fillet on these so we'll go ahead and select that go ahead and do put a uh, an 0 0.02 fillet on there we'll click off we'll do the same on the, the bottom one oh 0 0.02 let's spin this and then I'm going to do the same thing only on the inside so let's select all of the inside we'll go up to pull and we're going to add a uh, Small fillet on this so it's not a weak spot. 0.02. Okay, 
Okay, now we're going to go view. We're going to view from top. And this is going to be our Batman cookie cutter. So you go ahead and make uh, your cookies, and then you can cut them out. This should work. Should be Hopefully it's a sharp enough edge it will cut. Um, okay, that's going to end today's tutorial. Hopefully you enjoyed watching and you got something useful out of this video. Thanks for watching.